see what it, what it ends up on. It yeah. should be stopping soon. I mean, this is only a four cylinder. So. <laughs> A $20 difference from just four days ago to fill up the tank. Single mother of two, Alexis, says the higher gas prices are forcing her to make changes. This is just ridiculous. It's crazy. Have to put in some extra hours at work, but that just snowballs into extra child care. I just stay at home now and start conserving gas. You can't even drive anywhere anymore. It's horrible. The American Automobile Association AAA indicates prices have gone up nearly 60 cents per gallon in a week, a rise of nearly 16 percent. Prices are up 53 percent from a year ago. Due to higher taxes, environmental laws and location, California's gas is the highest in America. Average California gas price about a little bit a dollar, if not more, higher than the national average. California Governor Gavin Newsom has taken notice. In his State of the State address on Tuesday, Newsom acknowledged the pain residents were feeling at the pump, which he says has been fueled by geopolitical uncertainty. And that's why working with legislative leadership, I'll be submitting a proposal to put money back in the pockets of Californians to address rising gas prices. But Newsom also said any new measures would not stray from the state's commitment to green energy. We need to be fighting polluters, not bolstering them. And in the process of doing so, freeing us once and for all from the grasp of petro dictators. But this conversation can't just be about supply, can't just be about oil supply. Daily life still demands too much fossil fuel. That too has to change, underscoring the importance of accelerating California's leadership in clean technology. Me and my wife to buy an electric car, so hopefully this summer we will get the electric car and I, I won't need to bother about the gas prices. But until his new EV arrives, Mikel Rodriguez will have to keep filling up with pricey gas, something he calls a sacrifice. What he's doing in Russia is not right, so whatever we can do to st not stop but put some pressure, I think it's, it's useful. It's affecting us and it's affecting the whole world. What's going on with the war right now, my heart is out to them over there and same time I have to get on with my life and this hurts us now. Alexis says the higher prices will cost her an extra $100 a month. She says with the pandemic, inflation and now rising gas prices, it's hard to see any silver linings in the days, weeks and months ahead. Fourth New CGTN, Palo Alto, California.